What is the average UK salary? Well, the Office for National Statistics, or ONS, reports that the average or mean gross pay for UK employees in April 2017 is £539 per week, or £29,009 per year. There's a few reasons why this figure is not perfect for a like-for-like -like comparison though. Firstly, it's calculated using both full-time and part-time workers. It also includes employees of all ages and from all areas of the country, along with being made up of men and women working in the private and public sectors. If you'd like to know how what you're earning compares to others in a similar situation, then a more detailed and personalised figure would be helpful. Finally, there's the problem of using an average value. The average is made up of all the UK salaries combined and then divided by the number of people earning them. This leads to a small number of higher earners pushing up the end results. In our simplified example here, the 150 figure is so much bigger than all the other salaries that it skews the average result to 41, which is actually higher than 6 of the 7 example salaries. This effect could lead to people working typical jobs to think that they're being paid less than most others when it may not be the case. A better calculation to use is the median. The median can be thought of as the middle value for a dataset. Imagine you laid out every UK wage from smallest to biggest in a line, the salary exactly in the middle of that line would be the median. This is better because it cancels out any extreme values at either end of the scale, giving a more accurate picture for most people's situation. Going back to the table we looked at a moment ago, we can see that the median value for gross UK earnings is £449 per week or £23,474 annually. That's over £5,000 less per year than the average figure. Fortunately, the ONS publishes a report called the Annual Survey of Hours and Earnings, which covers all the previously mentioned topics in detail as well as using median values. For the rest of this video, we'll be looking at how these earnings change depending on various factors, and all the earnings figures mentioned will be in the median format. Now, just before we continue, a couple of caveats. The report we'll be looking at displays various weekly figures correct as of April 2017, but for context I'll also be adding the annual equivalents. These annual figures are calculated from the year leading up to April 2017, and are published by the ONS in the datasets accompanying the report. I've added a link to the ones used in the video in the description below. The methodology of calculating weekly and annual median earnings is different, partly due to weekly earnings changing across the year. This means that annual values aren't always a straight multiplication of their corresponding weekly figures. This effect can lead to, for example, one region appearing to earn more per week than another, but less per year. Also, finally, all figures are including any bonus or overtime payments, the only exception to this being the calculations for gender pay gap percentages, which focus only on the hourly wage. Okay, let's first begin with full-time and part-time workers. The report states that gross earnings for UK full-time workers are £550 per week or £28,758 per year. The same figures for part-time employees are £182 weekly and £9,867 annually. Information for full-time employees is also provided at a regional level as seen in this table of UK weekly earnings. From this we can see that the highest paid region in the UK is London, with an annual full-time salary of £37,209. Next highest is the southeast of England with £30,219 and followed by the east of England at £28,460 and Scotland at £28,354. Comparing weekly and annual pay here shows a slight inconsistency with Scotland's weekly pay of £442 being slightly higher than the east of England's £433. A similar effect is visible in the regions with the lowest annual pay. Despite Wales having a slightly lower weekly wage, the region's full-time annual salary of £26,024 is higher than that of the East Midlands £25,822. Another way in which full-time and part-time earnings are broken down is by gender. The report states that in 2017, full-time working men earned £592 per week, while women received £494. These correspond to £31,103 and £25,308 per year. The overall gender pay gap for all employees in the UK was 9.1%. This trend is reversed for part-time workers where women earn more than men on an hourly basis. This table shows how the gender pay gap changes depending on the number of hours worked per week along with what percentage of men work in each hourly grouping. 
From this, we can see that on an hourly earnings basis, women are paid more than men when working between 10 and 30 hours per week. The pay gap is most significantly in women's favour for those working 20 to 25 hours per week at over 10%. The pay gap reverses direction for employees working over 30 hours per week with men earning more. It's also notable that men make up the majority of people who work longer weekly hours. This fact is most pronounced in the category of employees spending 45 to 50 hours a week at work, where men make up 79% of their number. Interestingly, the tables show that the pay gap is highest in favour for men at over 20% for workers in the 30 to 35 hours per week group. This is the set with the most equal gender makeup in the table, containing 42% men. Based on the trend seen in the other hourly groupings, it could be expected that this set would have one of the lowest pay gaps as opposed to one of the highest. Unfortunately, the report doesn't go into this any further. Another distinction between earnings the report makes is the difference between public and private sector pay. For full-time employees, private sector workers received £532 per week compared to £599 per week for public sector workers. These numbers on an annual basis are £27,977 for the private sector and £30,630 for the public. The report suggests that this difference is the result of greater numbers of lower paid jobs existing within the private sector. The last categorization we'll look at in this video is earnings by age group. This table shows the median weekly earnings for male and female full-time employees aged over 16 years old. I've added the annual figures below each age bracket. It's notable that the ages at which men and women earn their highest is different. Men peak at £35,267 between the ages of 40 and 49, while women reach their highest point at £27,865 per year between the ages of 30 and 39. The 50 to 59 age bracket contains the greatest difference between male and female earnings in absolute terms. One final great source of information is the interactive map of weekly median earnings by local authority available on the ONS website. The map on the right shows each local authority colour-coded by its earnings, while the map on the left scales the local authorities by the number of jobs in them. Areas shaded deep blue earn the lowest, moving through light blue, white, orange, and finally to red earning the highest. One thing to bear in mind with this map is that it uses figures from the year 2015, so will be a few percentage points off the 2017 numbers used in this video so far. You can hover your mouse over any local authority on the map and see the full-time and part-time earnings for the men and women who work there. This is a great tool for performing a like-for-like -like comparison of your situation and provides a picture of pay at a national level along with some interesting local anomalies. On the broader scale, the regions with the largest group of deep blue coloured lower paying full-time jobs are Wales, North and South West England along with the East Midlands. The map on the left also shows a very strong bias for full-time roles to be based in London. Changing the same map to show the distribution of part-time jobs shows a much more even spread across the nation. On the local level, London contains the highest paying authorities, with the City of London, or the Square Mile as it's sometimes called, having the largest national figures for both genders in full and part-time roles. The annual median salary for men in a full-time role here is £67,538 and is £43,892 for women. Aberdeen City is the highest earning local authority in Scotland, and Copeland in North West England is the highest paid authority outside of London. Surrounded by the beautiful Lake District, is Copeland the UK's best kept secret? Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video useful. I have posted a link to the interactive earnings map in the video description below, as well as the ONS report and data sets used throughout. Feel free to check them out, there's tons of interesting info that didn't make it into the video. See you next time!